And now, WUSA 9 Sports, brought to you by Xfinity. Capitals facing the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight, and the legend of Evgeny Kuznetsov keeps growing. Kuzi launches that sucker upstairs from an absurd angle, but the replay gives it more justice. He's got no angle, and he's not even looking at the net when he fires it. Unbelievable. Caps, though, did lose. Now, time for the funniest thing I saw today, and it's worth Maryland and Rutgers. Turfs essentially pull off the longest onside kick ever because the Scarlet Knights don't seem to be interested in picking up the ball. Maryland's chance, Campbell did, though. Hilarious for UMD. I really can't come up with any sensible explanation for what Rutgers did. Just absolutely mind-boggling. Now, the Terrapins put a whooping up on Rutgers for homecoming, and UMD made history. Running back Ty Johnson became Maryland's fourth all-time leading rusher with over 2,500 yards and became just the fourth Terp to reach 4,000 all-purpose yards, joining Lamont Jordan, Stephon Diggs, and Torrey Smith. Great company, all have played in the NFL. Then on defense, they gave up just eight passing yards and forced five interceptions. That's the first game the Terps had at least four picks since 2001 against Clemson 17 years ago when George Bush was president, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was the number one movie, and gas cost a whopping $1.46. Please, please bring back that gas price. I would really appreciate that. All right, now playoffs for DC United. Yes, tonight DC United moved to the last playoff spot in the Eastern Division with a 1 0 win over FC Dallas. Why is this so big? Because back in July, the team was in last place in the East. But then Wayne Rooney came, and the Rooney effect is real. If they take care of business in the last three games of the season, they'll be in the postseason. Heck of a turnaround. Now, Josh Norman's got a big game against the Panthers tomorrow, his old team. He needs to show up, but he also knows the importance of showing up to vote during our midterm elections this November. He posted this picture encouraging our youth to vote November 6th, and he gave a passionate answer for why voting means so much to him. Got to get out there and vote. That's the biggest thing. Um, it really is because when you look at what's going on in the world right now, you know, voting is a big part of that. We have to exercise our right as young people and as older people as well to go out there and, and ch be the change that you want, not what somebody else wants. Because as you see right now, we're going through a lot of stuff um, that's being changed and not so much for the good. But we can change that back for the good if you only go out there and, and put in that vote. I know I'll be voting, and I'm going to be setting up a lot of little voting camps. Okay, so that's LSU defensive lineman Braden Fehoko and his dad doing the haka, which is a Maori dance that celebrates life. Maori are the indigenous Polynesian people of New, New Zealand. But seriously, that's the best thing I saw all day. How can you not be jacked up after that? Like, I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to go. Oh, you, know, you, know, let's go. you know what I'm saying? Moving the fence and everything. I love everybody around them, though. They're kind of like. They're just like an awe. Uh, yeah. What's happening? No, it's, it's a really <laughs> great dance. I yeah. wish, you know. I had some of that culture, but hey, you know, you can appreciate it yeah, from can, afar. You learn the dance, like why not? It. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it right now. Just, next week, next yeah, week. Next I was week. just saying you can learn it. I wasn't asking for it. All right.